10 issues currently plaguing the CE flighting experience. Can they be fixed in time? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update when it comes to Halo. If you like these news, informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel a lot, guys. It really does. And so let's get right into the content here. If you've experienced any bugs outside of this known issues list, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with everything going on in Halo, make sure you tap subscribe, guys, to keep yourselves up to date. So let's get right into the content here. As I'm sure many of you know that currently right now, CE Anniversary is going through a flighting process, testing out the game on PC to make sure that when the game does release to the public, that it is in a very functioning state. Currently, right now, the game actually plays very well. Surprisingly, the game feels good. The debate between controller and mouse and keyboard for this game seems to be not existent. I don't see anybody in the chats or in the forums or on Twitch or anything like that or on YouTube talking about the differences between mouse and keyboard and controller like there is in Reach. And I think it has to be just something to do with like the player movement, the fire rate, and just the mechanics of how CE plays. It plays very well on PC. Uh, being in like 200 plus frames on the game it's it runs super smooth it's super enjoyable to play and uh, it's a whole nother beast to get good at combat evolved but there are 10 issues i have for this video guys that are currently plaguing the ce experience that these errors and issues are directly affecting your experience while playing the game there are actually 27 known issues right now with this flying process and i'm sure that list is growing some are minor details like debug text is present in the gameplay settings in menus when set to non-english languages something like that but these issues i'm going to bring up in this video are directly affecting your experience guys so let's get right into this list Number one is that the terminals that are in CE Anniversary are currently not functioning right now. If you guys don't know what terminals are, basically there are these little bits of extra storytelling that are kind of well-produced animations that help give you more context what's in the game. Really awesome feature. Uh, they're not actually in the game, if I remember correctly. They were linked to the Halo Channel website, which recently went down. So if there's a way to put those in the game, that would be super nice. Uh, but right now you cannot actually use these, which uh, if you find these in CE, they're very cool to watch and learn more about the lore behind Halo. Customization preview model proportions are inconsistent with in-game model, which does seem about right. I remember looking at the customization within Combat Evolved and looking like the Spartan looks kind of weird. Like he looks like he has tiny hands and huge ankles for some reason. Like he has cankles basically. And it just looks a little off. And if you can see the side-by-side -side image, you can kind of tell like, yeah, there's something a little different. Obviously the lighting on the visor is very different because on CE, they had like a, a baked in lighting effect when it comes to the visor, where that one on the Unreal Engine uses real time reflections. And obviously with the being the in-game menu, there's nothing to reflect onto the character. That's why the visor looks so weird. I guess this comes when they were talking about in one of the dev updates about the deterministic model of the characters to figure out how to make it look like a CE Spartan. Number three on this list is the respawn beep sound effect has a lower pitch compared to the legacy CE version. And I clipped it here for you guys so you can give it a listen and compare and contrast the two. As you can tell, the beep that's in CE Anniversary Flighting Project right now is currently a bit lower in pitch. Obviously, not that big of an issue, but it kind of affects the legacy feel of playing these games back on PC. The audio in games is super important. It's, to me, it's the most immersive part of a game to get that audio right. And when your pitch sounds a little different when it comes to your respawn time, that classic respawn timer, then uh, yeah, it kind of might you know take you out of the experience of playing a game that came back in 2001, now back on 10 in high fidelity on PC. Number four on the list is something that has actually really been bothering me and it really affects my experience when playing CE, and that's weapon swapping after reaching the 10 times zoom with a sniper rifle can cause zoom to not function on other weapons and cause them to not render 
properly, which I've been experiencing that a lot. So basically when you're with the sniper rifle, you zoom into 10 times, which often on these BTB maps, you actually really have to do, which is kind of uh, odd to the later on halos for much more close quarters. You never really had to use that second zoom, but this one you definitely do. And you know, when you're in the 10 times zoom, you might hit switch your weapon to like a pistol. And then when you zoom in with that pistol, it just, the reticle just pops up. It doesn't zoom in like that classic feel. That's actually been really bothering me. It really throws me off and I don't think it zooms into the right zoom possibly. That's just what it feels like, but it's just very jarring. It does actually move the reticle up as well for some reason. So if they can find some way to fix that, that would be very nice. Number five on the list of errors that are plugging the flight right now is that the letterboxing is missing in the classic cinematics for Halo Combat Evolved. I showed in this clip right here, guys. You can see that with the Combat Evolved Anniversary version, you have the nice letterboxes that kind of zoom in and out. That traditional experience where you're going in and out of missions, it kind of helps give that more cinematic feel. But when you're playing Combat Evolved, the bars aren't there now i think i feel like i remember that being an actual issue with the gearbox version of game of the game so it's not necessarily three for three forgot about this i'm pretty sure that's what was an issue with the gearbox version as well when it comes to these cinematics so obviously i think that's something that they could probably fix rather easily and i wouldn't expect that to be coming in but it does kind of affect that cinematic experience while playing the campaign which obviously is trying to uh, capture that feeling so when you affect that then yeah it becomes an issue so hopefully they get that fixed in time number six has basically become a meme now when it comes to playing this flighting uh for the ce multiplayer but when using mouse and keyboard any action that is bound to vehicle one function like mouse click two is not usable uh when you first boot up the game and start playing you can't zoom in because uh, the right click on the mouse that you use to zoom in with is actually bound to a vehicle function and since it has two functions bound to the same key the game goes what what do you want me to do and so then you can't actually zoom but if you rebind vehicle function one to whatever other button that's not the mouse click then you can zoom in just fine i rebound mines to one and it seems to work out all right for me right there uh basically i've seen this like in everybody in the chat has been going like how why come i can't zoom why can't i zoom where's the zoom in this game and that's because your key binds are a little wonky so that's something I'm sure they can fix quite easily. Number seven on the list, gamer tags sometimes appear in the score column instead of the name column on the scoreboard, which obviously kind of ruins the entire idea of like, wait, who's doing well? Who do I need to look out for? And things like that on the scoreboard. And plus it just kind of like, when you see something that looks that janky or messy, it really kind of also takes you out of the moment of playing the game exactly. And so that's something that hopefully they'd be able to figure out in time. Obviously nothing that affects your gameplay directly, but is something that just kind of like, you know, it kind of affects the experience of playing CE on PC and hopefully that gets fixed in time as well. Number eight is for all you custom game guys on the PC, there's actually a bit of a swip, swap, switch, swap, freaky Friday thing that's going on right now with the with some of the Slayer options for Combat Evolved. Classic Team Slayer settings and CE Team Slayer settings are flip-flopped for custom games settings. And how that happens, I have no idea. But if you're trying to play some Classic Slayer and you're like, why is it playing like the CE settings? Or if you do the CE settings, you're like, why is it playing like Classic? Well, that's your issue right there. I'm pretty sure that's something you can easily fix around. Even just retitling the game modes, I think it would probably be the easiest way to go about doing that one. So that's a pretty easy fix. Number nine is for all you noob combo users and plasma pistol champions, because right now there's currently an issue with the plasma pistol audio where it does the fully charged audio when you're rapid fire tapping the plasma pistol. I have a clip right here for you guys to hear what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's kind of a, it's like a weird buildup thing that happens when it comes to that audio. Obviously, not exactly game breaking, but immersion breaking 100%. Uh, you know, there's been various audio issues when it comes to bringing the, these games from the console to PC because they have to re-encode the audio. I'm sure just kind of copy and pasting code or trying to work in some different way to make it work brings up some random issues. But at least we can pinpoint exactly what's happening for them to fix up this game a little bit. 
And lastly, number 10 is for all you sweaty boys right now playing the 2v2 player saying ranks will be displayed when connecting to ranked matches for all players. Now, I thought this actually was a feature and not a bug when I first hopped in because I was like, oh, that's actually really nice to see like that number of what your rank is right next to your name, kind of like how the classic days were. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. Instead of having to back out, you go to the main menu and see what my rank is on a playlist. I'd rather just see it while I'm loading into a game. But the thing is though, other players can see your rank as well. And oftentimes, a lot of players, what they'll do if they match against bad players or even uh, way too high ranking players, they'll just quit out of the match rather than play it because they go, oh, this guy, I'm a level 15 and this guy's a level 50. I'm not going to bother with this game because I'm just going to lose. And that's the whole reason why they hide these ranks. And so once they can figure that one out, which I'm sure it's not too hard either, they can be able to fix this up and for a nice, smooth experience while playing ranked modes in Combat Evolved on PC. Uh, yes, that was a long video guys, but there was a lot more to go into it I have left a link to the support site right now for all the known issues within this flighting project guys And so if you guys want to stay up to date with all the stuff that's going on with combat evolved and maybe even Halo, a little bit of Halo reach as well uh, I will make a video talking about the new crouching mechanic that's within uh, Halo reach and see how that actually plays out But we'll make a whole video about that one as well So make sure you stay tuned to the channel guys if you're missing any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now Got a link to a playlist that has all my news update videos. So if you've been kind of out of the loop for a few weeks, check out those videos. It will keep you up to date. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.